All right, now we're gonna focus on some of the techniques you use to deliver this tube using the stylet. So one of the things the stylet does is create this 30 degree angle here, and when you're headed th past the primary curve around the tongue and you come around, you should be able to look at this point here pointing upwards towards the glottic opening, and then that should allow you to just guide this tube right up to get to the anterior trachea. Once this tip is at the anterior trachea, however, uh, the reason, one of the reasons why I don't like it when this stylet is all the way at the edge of the tube is because then this tube becomes rigid and you can't move it. But if you see here, because I've recessed the stylet just slightly, this allows for this tip to remain soft. And that will allow it to kind of hit the anterior tracheal rings and then soften and be able to slide down into the trachea. Let's go ahead and uh, intubate with that technique and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just intubate here using the McGrath, get the view that I want to get. All right, now I've got a great view of the glottic structures. I'm going to take the stylet and tube together now and I'm going to hold it at the distal, or excuse me, at the proximal end right here. I'm going to then look in the mouth, guide this tube around the structures till I get to the glottic opening. And once I get to the glottic opening with this structure like this, I'm gonna stop. And I do get a little bit of resistance. Now this starts to become more important. I shaped this this way for a reason and I'm holding it for this way for a reason because now what I can do is use my thumb to pop this up and then use my fingers to then gently glide the tube into the trachea. So you can see that movement again. So I'm at the trachea I'm at the glottic opening, I'm hitting the anterior tracheal rings, I'm getting resistance. Now I just lift up with my thumb, that softens the tube a little more, and I'm able to glide that tube safely into the trachea with minimal force and minimal resistance. All right, now I'm just gonna show this outside so you can get a better look at it, right? So here it is. Here's the end of the stylet. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna pop, and what you can see now is this is really soft and now you're not gonna damage any structures when you advance into the trachea. So stop, pop, and then advance. All right, that's some basic stylet shaping 101 and how to use it, and I will see you on the other side of this video.